In the headlines, eight people arrested for encroaching and building on land used to monitor earthquake in Accra. From the Savannah region, the school teacher who raped a student in the staff common room of the Solar Senior High School has been jailed 15 years with hard labor. Cam returns to Inkranza in the Bunu East region after the youth rampaged on Tuesday. Two people have been arrested for Tuesday's attack on a police station. One attacker confirmed dead, six injured and police has also confirmed the death of the suspect who was in their custody. And still on the Achimota Forest, we bring you a reaction from the minority in parliament on the declassifications of some portions of the forest and its release to the old family. Welcome to the news in brief on Graphic Online. Estate developers and private individuals have been chipping off the base of the Hilly Ghana Geological Survey Authority earthquake monitoring station at Oblogo and Tuba in Accra. This has left some cracks on the hill, posing danger to the operations of the staff and equipment at the area in the monitoring of earthquake in Accra. Well, today, eight of such illegal developers have been arrested and now to face the law for illegally building structures at the earthquake-prone areas in Accra. The arrest of the eight was on the directive of George Mrikuduka, the Deputy Minister of Lands and Natural Resources in charge of mines. The Deputy Minister led a team of police officers to embark on an unannounced operation in the Wajagbawi and Tuba areas as a way to help clamp down on illegal sand winning in the area. The Ministry has directed that all the unauthorized buildings within the GGSA monitoring area should be pulled down within one week. Graphic Online's Timothy Nyengwe, who was with the team that have effected today's arrest, observed that the lacerations of the hill had left many of the residential buildings on the top at risk of collapsing. Buildings that were at the base of the hill were also at the mercy of loose boulders. Although the National Disaster Management Organization and the Wajagbawi Municipal Assembly had written stop work notices on buildings that were springing up at the base of the hill, the developers have ignored the order and continued their activities. Chippings, blocks and other building materials and personal effects are still on site, giving indication that the perpetrators of the illegality may have absconded when the minister's team got there. <laughs> And from Accra, we take you to the Savannah region, where a school teacher who raped a student in the staff common room has been jailed 15 years with hard labor. The incident happened at the Solar Senior High School in November 2019. The Tamale High Court yesterday handed over the 15-year jail sentence to the mathematics teacher and as a clue after almost a three-year trial. The court heard that the teacher, Ernest Oklu, raped the 18-year-old student of the school after he invited her to the staff common room on that day. When the victim attempted to leave the room after turning down Oklu's love proposal, Oklu rushed to lock the door and forcibly had sex with her. Oklu then sent the victim who was bleeding profusely to the girl's dormitory and fled. He was later arrested. He was dismissed by the Ghana Education Service in March 2020 for indulging in sexual misconduct with several female students of the school. In court, Oklu pleaded not guilty to the crime, but at the end of the trial yesterday, he was found guilty by the Tamale High Court and sentenced accordingly. Kam has returned to Inkranza in the Bunu East region a day after the youth went on a rapid to demand justice for a robbery suspect who died while in police custody. Two people have been arrested for Tuesday's attack on the police station in the town during the rampage. One of the attackers of the police station is a 19-year-old who has been confirmed dead. And the police has also confirmed the death of the robbery suspect who was in their custody. Well, the police has also announced that it has been able to re-arrest three suspects who were in custody but managed to bolt during the attack. In all, eight persons sustained gunshot injuries following a shooting incident during the protest by the irate youth of the town on Tuesday, the deceased, 
who was said to have been shot in the head, had been identified as a 19-year-old from three students of the Nkranza Technical Institute, Victor Kwejo Usu. Three of the eight injured persons have been treated and discharged. While one person is said to be in critical condition, the administrator of the hospital, Reverend Father John Bremi, has confirmed. The deceased and the injured were hit by stray bullets during the firing of several warning shots during the rampage, according to the police. Meanwhile, the Bono East Regional Minister, Kwesi Edujai, is arguing that there is no linkage between the attack on Nkranza police and death of suspected robber who was in police custody. To him, the people behind the attack were hooligans who have long planned to undertake a protest in the town over some grievances they had brought to his attention. The police in a statement had confirmed the death of 27-year-old Albert Donko, which sparked anger among the youth and subsequently led to the protest and the attack on the police station. According to the police, they gathered intelligence that Albert Donko and a gang of five other suspected armed robbers were involved in several armed robbery attacks in the region. And to wrap up, the declassifications of some portions of the Achimata forest after it was handed over to the Owu family is still dominating public discussions. Samuel Abujinapo, the Minister of Lands and Natural Resources, has assured that the forest was intact and that it was only the southern peripheries which has been declassified as a forest reserve to enable the Owu family, who now have the lease to those portions of the land, to go ahead and use it. But the point is that it's become fashionable about this that land rather is given in lieu of compensation, you know, because of the quantums of money that we talk about when it comes to compensation. If I've even, we are having a lot of difficulties with compensation, monetary compensation, because when you look at it, it's simply not sustainable. And um, the, the volume of uh, applications or petitions before my death for compensation across the country across the length and breadth of this country and the amount of money we are talking about the Ghanaian treasury will need three four times of all of our money to pay that kind of compensation so in many cases you want to find innovative ways of dealing with these matters you know without necessarily burdening the public exchequer the minority in parliament however disagrees with the minister's explanation that land should rather be released instead of monetary compensation today the minority in parliament in a reaction to the development described the declassification as dangerous. Haruna Idrisu, the minority leader, said the development does not reflect the avowed objective of keeping the only green belt in Accra. To him, if any part of the Achimota forest is released to any original owner and committed to any use other than its present use, it will set in motion a catalytic action of demand for the return of whole or parts of the about 265 forest reserves across the country to original land owners. Graphic Online's News in Brief was brought to you by Graphic News Plus. Download your Graphic News Plus now and choose your preferred package daily, weekly, monthly and annually and access free news on various interest areas as well. Visit us on graphic.com.gh for further information. Graphic News Plus, connecting people through news. Thank you for watching. For more news, please visit our website graphic.com.gh and follow us on Facebook at Daily Graphic and on YouTube at Graphic GH and on Twitter at Graphic GH. I am Enoch Dafa Frimpong. Subscribe now.